Hello YouTube, I'm Tallman Brad and in this update video we're going to take a look at progress on the new map making software known as Terragon. Before we get our hands dirty with the actual software, let's take a look around a map. This map was created using only Terragon, no other software was needed other than seven days to die to test it, of course. Now, at the time of recording this video, we're up to version 0.18 of Terragon. So the version that you get may look a little different to this, but I'm going to show you what we've got to work with at the moment. So in the basic tab, we can see that we have the option to choose our output directory, which is handy because it means we don't have to move our world once it's generated into the correct folder. We can specify a name and a size of the map, and then we could just tell it to run it. And it would use the basic settings that come with the software. If after a while you've created your own settings that you'd want to keep using, you can actually save those and load them later. So if I go into file and load, we can see that we have a selection of settings that have been previously created. The advanced tab at the moment is empty, but that will be populated with options that we can also find from the expert tab. And that's where we're going to take a look today. Down the left hand side here, we can see the full list of options that we can add to the queue of actions that will take place in order to generate a map. If you've loaded a preset, this will already be populated with options in the correct order. I'm just going to generate a map using those default settings and we'll take a look at it in the preview screen on the right. At various stages of the generation, we get a preview of where the software is up to. And we can see there it's created the mountains for us. And now it's generated the biomes and placed some tiles with POIs. So we can see in the preview here that we've got quite a selection of biomes, a much more interesting shape than the ones that come with Alpha 20 Random World Gen. And I think they look pretty good. This is only a 4K map and it's quite mountainous, so there isn't really room for a lot of POIs, but of course, all of that is adjustable. Now I'll load up one of my presets and we'll take a look at what you can do by adjusting some of these settings. So you can see here, using the settings that I've adjusted, we've got a completely different map. Terragon isn't currently using a stamp system for mountains, but instead a fractal based system that offers a huge amount of customization, allowing extremely complicated mountain ranges to simple hills. For example, here I can specify the size of the mountains and the frequency they spawn. Biome generation has a new feature that will give you the option to set biome placement based on map elevation. For example, we can have a desert biome that only spawns below a certain height. Higher than that, we could have the forest biome, and as we head into the hills, we could have a wasteland or even a burnt forest, and finally, snow on the peaks of mountains. The order of these can be changed. Of course, you can just select a more traditional option to just randomize placement of the biome simply, or make a more complicated pattern. A big area of contention with me is the transition between biomes in Alpha 20 Random World Gen, where we get the sudden changes between biomes which just aren't realistic. Terragon will give you the option to diffuse the biome transition if you'd prefer. Erosion is a feature that helps generate extremely realistic looking mountains by simulating the effects of many years of weathering, although it should be noted that this is extremely processor intensive and prolongs map generation time considerably. Add more rain and your mountains will erode more, creating very realistic looking terrain. Rivers currently start from the center of the map and carve their way to the ocean or map border, following a natural route, creating very realistic looking scenes. The width and depth can be adjusted, as can the steepness of the slope into the water. Roads are currently still in development, but they will start at a town or city, and at any rivers they cross on their travels, a bridge will automatically be placed, or if two roads cross each other, a junction or crossroads will be generated. There is control over the size of cities in that you can specify the minimum size you'd like a city, and also limit the maximum size. The actual size generated depends on the space on the map. Making your minimum size too large may mean you don't get as many cities if there isn't room to place them. 
There is an option to add your own hand-drawn height map and Terragon will place POIs in suitable places. So in summary, Terragon is looking good, work is progressing very quickly. It isn't ready for public release as the basic functions like the spawning of traders haven't been implemented yet and also further work needs to be done on roads and wilderness POIs. We don't have an estimated release date for the software yet and that's understandable as there are many factors that could delay progress. And I'll keep you up to date on that progress as it happens. Please give the video a like if you found it useful and check out my channel for more similar videos. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.